hey everyone welcome back to the video i hope you all are doing great in today's video we will be adding the time function or the time feature into our virtual assistant our advanced virtual assistant uh, in jarvis we are going to add our time feature uh, so previously we had added the feature of the spotify and the song function where we were asking the advanced virtual assistant to play some songs with help of spotify and the song function but now we are going to add the time function into your virtual assistant where we'll be asking the time and next video we'll be doing the date function where we'll be asking the virtual assistant about the date. So if you have not watched the previous video, I will be leaving the link in the description. Make sure to check out all the videos, the Spotify and uh, before that there were uh, videos which you have to integrate uh, the main features, the main functions which has to be, uh, which are the essential functions which are required for the features to work. So make sure you check out the uh, description and also I will leave the source code uh, and the uh, the source code link in the description along with how to access the source code video in the description. So make sure you check out the description before starting the programming. So without wasting more time, let's get straight into the video guys. So guys right now, uh, I'm right now in the PyCharm folder right here. Uh, previously we did the programming right here for the song and the Spotify function right here. Uh, and uh, right now in PyCharm and if uh, you have not watched the uh, previous video where I have told if you have continued with Visual, uh, Visual Studio do why you can continue with that I had some problem which I already mentioned in the previous video so make sure to check out that video and then come to this but right now let's um, start with the programming for the time function so before we start with the you know elif statement and stuff we add a uh, text that is called as time so if at all uh, there's uh, time you know there's something which we have check in the future we can check through this which I've mentioned in the previous video uh, for example if you want to check um, that we will be adding more than 50 features right so if we have to scroll each and every feature and check out where's the time function will be difficult whereas if you just click on edit and then find and then you find with the uh, click on you know uh, this find right here and then we put time it'll straight away bring us to this so we can put tell time tell the time or tell uh, yeah tell time you can also do this uh, and when we are after this we are gonna put the elif elif uh, the time yeah the time um, in self dot query yeah um, or we can put an on statement also uh, for new natural processing language uh, what is the time and self dot query or we can put could could you um, please tell the time in self dot query fine i think this should be good enough the time uh, what is the time or uh, the time or could you please tell the time um, yeah so this this is the natural processing language which we have put right here for the advanced virtual assistant or R jarvis uh, so it's going to read the command what we are giving right here once it has read the command we will put one function called as string um, string time let's put it as string time is equal to so string time uh, keep string lowercase and t or oh, the uh, the letter t in time uh, caps okay and here we are going to define it uh, we'll put date time um, date time dot date time uh, dot now fine now if you're wondering where did this date time come from we have you we have imported a, a file called as date time right here uh, yeah right here import date time so from that file we are using or uh, from the imported file we are gonna put it right here so date time dot date time dot now um, and we can put uh, dot uh, str ft time okay and now we're gonna mention now make sure whatever I'm gonna type you're gonna type the same 
because even if one mistake it will give an error in the program so it's going to be percentage capital i okay capital i uh two dots uh percentage again capital m fine just a second instead of percentage i put five uh capital m okay and we're going to give a space space bar click on the space bar again percentage and then p okay so what does this mean this is r minutes and seconds that uh, differentiation and uh, it is could be even the pm and am time um if it is 10:30 am then it's going to be 10:30 am or pm so depending on it so make sure you write this the same okay a uh, few people make a problem mistake right here and that's going to be giving you the error that will make the problem okay we're going to click enter again and we're going to come back here right here and uh, we can even print the statement right here print f um and then uh, we are going to put the uh upper column and then we are going to put slash forward slash n slash um t of uh, it okay it is of uh, flower brackets or uh, flower brackets and we're going to put the str string time string time uh, and then we're going to reset it okay we're going to reset it fine this is done now now once the print statement is done we just don't need the print statement right we also want the virtual assistant to tell it so we're going to put speak fine uh, f and, and the, the letter f and then uh it is uh or it's or let it be yeah it's uh flower brackets and then we're going to put str string which we are defined string time string time and let's give a sleep you know let's give a sleep time dot sleep for one second or yeah one second should be good enough so this is the program so what we did here was first we gave the natural processing language for the virtual assistant right here the time what's the time could you please tell us the time then we created a function with the help of datetime package dot datetime dot now and then we put the string ft time or uh, the string f time where we imported uh not we imported we gave the assignment of hours minutes and pm and am and then what we did was we print the statement so it's going to come in the terminal uh it's going to tell it's the uh, it is or uh, yeah basically it is uh this uh, you know 10:30 pm or whatever it's going to be and then we're going to reset the terminal again uh and once that is done it's going to speak uh so the time is oh yeah we can put that actually if you want uh, if you don't want it's time uh, it's uh, 10:30 pm we can put it as um you know sir or madam depending on however you want sir the time is and it's going to tell 10:30 pm or uh, 11 o'clock or whatever it's going to be and then we put the sleep mode we just added a sleep function for one second and then it's going to again come back to the loop or the while through loop and start listening to us again so this was the time function where we uh, added the time feature to the virtual assistant the next feature is going to be the date uh, it's going to be similar to this only it's not going to be that difficult itself so i'll be leaving this whole source code in the this whole code in the uh, description uh, make sure to check out the video on how to access the source code and then access the source code copy and paste it make your job easier So that's it for today's video guys I hope you guys like today's video the feature we'll be adding even more features in the future the date is going to come as I told you after that there are even more like YouTube automation many other things which are going to come so stay tuned for that make sure to subscribe and like the video if you did and stay tuned for the next video so till then peace out guys bye